Okay, let's try this again. I just, well not just, I just, I filmed this, so I filmed these videos in one take, at least these days. Um, vast, vast majority. It's been a while since I've done a compiled edited video in the sense of editing clips together and content together. I just filmed this, so just being in one take at starting at 11.50 a.m. I filmed this video, not this video exactly, uh, and then what happened for those who saw it on the channel, so I published it on the channel, and sometimes with these videos I'll film them and the audio on the video will be absolutely fine, I'll be like okay, I'll go upload it, and when I go to upload it, the audio for my video no longer exists, so that's what happened. So there was a video I published on my channel just before this for this same topic uh, that uh, there was no audio for. So I get to remove it from the playlists and delete it from the channel and stuff and hope there's audio on this video. <laughs> and so that's just the intro. Uh, I guess this time is a purely logistical YouTube specific. This will go on my YouTube. So note to self if I watch this at a later date. Remember, it's not actually a YouTube problem. It's a problem with my phone. So I, there's just the, the audio will be fine, but then it'll disappear after it was initially fine for some of my videos, which can be frustrating, if I, especially if I really liked the video and what I said. I'm like, nope, don't get to use it, do it again. Life's not fair sometimes, move on. So I'm moving on and I'm refilming this. I, I don't have a script for, for these videos, so uh, it won't be the same as the last one, but Let's make it good. So the topic of this video is COVID-19 pandemic chronology for today, Tuesday, 25 October, 2022. And I have two updates for today. The first is uh, the Wikipedia page I mentioned I was working on writing yesterday. I did publish at 0303, so 303 AM. Wikipedia, English Wikipedia time, which is also known as Coordinated Universal Time, today. And the page I was working on is for Maximus Williamson. He is an American swimmer specializing in individual medley, freestyle, and backstroke. He's uh, good at a young age, individual medley swimmer like my Matthew, who is older than me, and my Chase, who is older than me. Uh, in both individual medley swimmers, at least at the moment, or they're good at individual medley. And so I published that, I finished writing it and published it at 0303 today, 25 October 2022. There's even date and time stamp on the English Wikipedia on the article and I use my real name, full name, on my Wikipedia editing. So it's there if one wants to check. And 36 minutes after I published it, it passed review at 0339, so 3.39 a.m. today. And so that's my first update. How long did it make, take me to actually write the page? I started writing the page in August 2022, so it took me about two months to write the page, the article, and then publish it. I'd been following the swimmer for over a year uh, before I decided to make the page. There tends to be a, I follow somebody, start paying attention, I go, okay, I want to make this person's page. When do they have enough that this article meets notability criteria for Wikipedia in my past review? So he was an example of that. So that is the first update. Second update is... I... Yeah, also, so that's part of my pandemic pit crew writing and publishing work on Wikipedia, addressing, so this is still part of the first update. Um, that, that's writing and publishing that article as part of my pandemic pit crew work, writing and publishing on Wikipedia, covering junior co competitors in international, or junior competitors in aquatic sports. And then the second update covers both that, so junior competitors in aquatic sports, especially specifically on the international or global competition level. And regional, worldwide, whatever one wants to term it, or, or regional, continental, that kind of thing. Multi-country co competition level. Uh, it was a combination of that and filling in missing information. So I added and contributed 
information about the national records that one of my article subjects, Jean Apavlik, a Croatian swimmer, that she she had set a num has set a dozen I found a dozen national records that she set and so I contributed text and labels for the records in the main article prose and then I made national record tables um, uh, and I started the short course meters table last night and then worked on the long course meters table today and so that is the second update is working on that. Uh, kind of a side note about her in one of the other subjects of an article I've made is uh, Lisa Nystrand. Is they're both interesting cases where uh, the International Olympic Committee has a set of qualification criteria for the Olympic Games and both Jana Pavlik of Croatia and Lisa Nystrand of Sweden had some form of qualification time or qualification for the 2020 Summer Olympics, but they were not extended in the invitation by the International Olympic Committee to compete at the 2020 Summer Olympics. For Lisa Nystrand, she had an Olympic selection time and the 200 meter individual medley. And they did not, they did not ask her to compete and they did not ask anybody from her country to be compete, so far as I recall. And so I was like, well, it's interesting. It's pretty loud, they didn't want her there kind of thing. Uh, the Jana Pavlik is a more interesting case of she didn't meet the qualification time or the selection time. She did meet the criteria for a universality place or something like that. However, instead of choosing her in Jana Pavlik, it was the fact, and this is for Jana Pavlik, it was the 50 meter freestyle. She was the national record holder, set the national record in the qualifying um, window period for the Olympic Games. And instead of choosing her, so with Lisa Nystrand, they didn't take any people from Sweden. Um, <laughs> it was an interesting case for Jana Pavlik because she's from Croatia, represents Croatia. And they actually took someone who was older and slower instead of her. Which was just kind of like, if I'm looking to watch the Olympic Games as a quality sporting competition, choosing someone from the same country who is not as fast in the same qualifying window um, and it is older is just kind of a the the not as fast thing is kind of like a when they choose the best people especially Jana Pavlik has even uh, announced had like a public announcement of her intent to compete at the 2024 Summer Olympics and I'm like dang wouldn't that suck if she went through that again fastest person um, from her country has great time and stuff like that and then the Olympic Games goes oh we don't want you again that would really suck so I feel kind of bad for that girl um yeah, I hope it doesn't happen again um but it's just an example of someone who's better than the games right both Lisa Nystrand and Jana Pavlik fast enough to go and then uh, not extended an invitation so in that sense excluded from kind of typical for young <laughs> European women um with ancestry uniquely to Europe uh, is to be excluded from the Olympic Games when they do meet the qualifying criteria. So it's just an interesting side note I thought was, I now have at least two articles where the subject of the article, in this case, young female European women, or girls, um, qualify or meet the qualification criteria for the Olympic Games, but the International Olympic Committee does not um, extend an invitation to them kind of thing. So just kind of a, uh, if, I you know some people, some people, some swimmers are like, what if I swim fast and I don't want to swim at the Olympic Games? And then they say I have to come because they send an invitation. I'm like, well, I'm looking at two cases where they were fast enough to meet, like, and, and um, <laughs> to go and met the criteria in the Olympic Games and completely just, just said, no, we don't want you. Um, so it was kind of a, just because one swims fast and m matches the criteria does not mean the Olympic Games wants people there. Um, so it's just a reminder is just because one's fast doesn't mean the Olympics Games chooses the fastest people to compete. Sometimes they play favorites and choose a slower and older Croatian instead of the younger and national record holder and faster swimmer. So I just I was it was interesting learning, continually learning uh, through my writing and publishing work on Wikipedia. So those are my YouTube update, <laughs> Wikipedia updates, COVID-19 pandemic chronology updates. Um, which is Pandemic Pit Crew, we're adding and publishing work on Wikipedia for today, Tuesday, 25 October, 2022.